the Tactical Family Channel. We're back here again and we have our Ruger PC9 carbine here. Our series that we've been doing on this weapon just so you guys can uh, see here. <clears throat> Obviously there's no mag. Weapon is clear. But anyways, um, we pretty much I think um, have finished with this weapon for the exception of one thing. And that is the magwell. So by um, when it comes out from the factory, it obviously has a um, Ruger magazine magwell. Well, today we're going to go ahead and show you how to swap that out to obviously this is our Glock magwell and how it will easily accept the Glock 9mm magazines. So we're going to go ahead and do that today. So let's go ahead and dive right in that. Alrighty, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove the barrel. And we need to lock the bolt back to do that. Once the bolt's locked back, we're going to just go ahead and see, almost lost the element. We're going to depress this turn and we move the barrel. And then there goes the barrel. So now we're going to go ahead and remove the two takedown screws, which we have here. We have one behind the trigger guard and then one in front of the magwell. Now these screws do not come all the way out, um, so you don't need to worry about taking them all the way out. Alright, and then once you have your screws um, loosened, you can go ahead and separate the receiver from the stock. Go ahead and set the receiver aside because we don't need that right now. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and remove the current, so you guys can see this is the current um, Ruger Magwell to, we, that we can install the new one. And all you need to really do is uh, depress the mag release and basically pull up. That's all I had to do. Now, when I actually looked into it, um, the Ruger site had some information where they said you need to depress, might be too dark, but depress a metal uh, part right in there, I'm not sure what it's called. And then once depressed and you're depressing the magwell, you can pull it out, but I didn't have that issue. So I don't think you guys would run into that issue either. So now once that's out, as you guys can see, we have our Glock magwell. And we're just going to drop that right in. Again, you need to depress the mag release. And then just drop it in, release the mag release, and the new Glock Magwell is in place. And we have a nice uh, 33 round magazine here to uh, slip it in. <laughs> now it's not the ideal slipping because I don't have a weapon in back together but as you guys can see it work now let's go ahead and put the weapon back together which is really simple too we're going to go ahead and grab the receiver here drop the receiver back in and there we go we have the um, receiver back into the stock and now we're going to go ahead and tighten down our um, receiver screws okay now that we got those tightened down we're going to go ahead and uh, reattach the barrel There we go, we have the barrel back on. Slide forward, and you guys can't really tell there's a big difference, but obviously there's a, there's a difference. It looks essentially the same. There's probably no difference, actually. Um, but anyways, here's the difference right here. Voila, we have our Ruger PC9 carbine now officially set up to accept Glock mags. Alrighty, so another simple thing to do to so this Ruger PC9 carving, again, very easy thing to do. Really liking this weapon, going to enjoy it even more now, especially since I got the 30 round mag in there. Uh, but that will be it for tonight. Thank you everybody for stopping by and checking out this video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. If you guys have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them. You guys have a good night.